We could talk about Davidson last time we got you. Um, what have you seen from him? What have you liked and you know, what's like him impressive? Oh, man, glad we got him. Uh, you know, he's a great worker, competitor, all right? Long, can run, understands the game, um, passionate about playing. So, you know, he'll be a great addition to us. And Denzel and Jordan, just getting those guys healthy, what have you liked about them? Uh, yeah, they, you, you know, those guys are having a great experience so far. You know, Denzel is, is, is playing well. You know, the, the whole group is playing pretty good right now. You know, those guys are competing. Um, they're practicing hard. They're straining. They're understanding the game. They're applying it to the field. So, kind of happy with the whole group. Those guys are doing well. When you, first watched, when you first watched Davidson, you were scouting him and looking at him when he was in the portal. What stood out the most to you about him? Toughness, length, um, height at the top of the route, uh, competitiveness, you know, passion to play the game. Do you coach many corners that size? Uh, yeah, I have, you know, before before I got here, you know, uh, in the league, I have some tall tall guys in the league, you know. Uh, but he's one of the guys that, you know, you, you like his length um, and, and you like his competitive nature, man. So that, that height will be a big factor on down the field routes. What is you the, see what is a lot the of improvement like? from year to year, from last? I mean, were there lessons learned in the last couple of games? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, for sure. You can tell, you know, that's the whole thing it's about fixing problems fixing the issues that that, that that occurred last season. And that's what spring ball is about. And so far, those guys have tried to correct mistakes. And we try to do that on a daily basis. You know what I mean? Like from practice to practice, you know, uh, are, are you a repeat offender or are you fixing those issues? Because that's what we have to see uh, as we go forward each each day. Tim, when it comes to Davidson, did it take some convincing to get him here? Or was it a fairly easy process? No, because he, he, had, he had a lot going on. I mean, he had some things going on, you know, so we had to convince him of some things. Uh, 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 because he, he has some activity. Uh, like I said, we were able to, you know, to sell him on the family atmosphere, uh, the opportunities here, uh, the elite level of competition and ball, you know, being at a Ohio State Buckeyes. So uh, at the end, we was able to win out. We were glad we got him. Tim, are you guys, uh, it seemed like last year the safety position, that third one in the slot was more of a safety. Are you guys exploring with the idea of having maybe a corner there? Yeah, uh, we, more yeah, of this we, spring. Yeah, we're exploring. You know, we're just trying to make sure we have options with it. You know what I mean? So we're exploring, exploring uh, a lot of different guys there, uh, just so we can have a um, a good blueprint, a good plan uh, for so whoever we're seeing. We just got different options. So we're just moving guys around and mixing it up uh, to just try to see who best fits where in the overall scheme. We don't get to be out there for the whole practices a lot of times, but like we see Cam Martinez in that role a lot right now. What do you see from him as the quarterbacks coach that you like? mixed with what Perry sees from him as a safeties coach that you guys think he makes a great slot corner? I um, mean, we have uh, corner cover skills. You know what I mean? He has quick feet. He has good change of direction. He has good balls, skills at the top of the route, excellent quickness and change of direction. And that's the stuff you need playing on the slot because you will face guys that, uh, you know, they move guys around there, but that's dealing with space. And, you know, you can work in and out. So the intermediate routes and the quick game is where uh, you need guys that can have fluid hips and be able to move there. And he does that well. Have you seen a change in Denzel? Uh, this spring, uh, uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, he's dialed in. He's focused. Uh, you know, he's into it. He's having an excellent spring so far. So glad with his progression. Glad with his process. We just have to keep it going. The coaches that there, I think, uh, no coach also mentioned that Joe's <laughs> getting his hands on more balls this spring. Yeah, what's he doing to do that? Uh, just dialed in, man, on reading the quarterback, on splits, on formations. You know, all the things that go with that, man. To being able to apply the coverages. Uh, to the formations that we see, you know what I mean? And then be able to see it with your eyes, play fast with your eyes, man, to be able to get jump on the ball. Um, so he's doing a good job with that. He's being focused every snap. So he's dialed in and he's doing well. How much of what he might be doing this spring is just a product of he's healthy and maybe not in his own head a little bit about that not being a physical limitation for him? Uh, well, it's, it's a combination of everything, man. I just think it's growth. There's growth in that stuff, man. You know what I mean? You start applying the game a little bit more. You see it. You're dialed in. You know how it is. You can notice, you can notice stuff sometimes. If you're not dialed in, they can get you on the stuff you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's just like for, for anybody in life. You know what I mean? You can know it, but you got to go do it. And you have to be disciplined to do it all the time. And you have to have the eyes and the, and the trust and the alignments and all that to go apply it in the situation. So he's doing that at this point. I think difficult is it with a guy like that who has a great freshman season then come back and live up to kind of those expectations, especially you know, like dealing with injuries and whatnot. There was a lot on his plate last year after what he did. Uh, two yeah, but it's all different, man. It's a whole different scheme. You know what I mean? It's a whole different responsibility, a, a different different pressure on those guys than it was before. So there's a lot of factors going that. Uh, yeah, multiple, you know, things that set him back injury-wise. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of factors that play into it. 
Uh, what we try to do is we don't make excuses about it. We got we to go play through it. But guess what? That's just part of the game, man. You know, that, that, that's what happens when you play this sport. You know, you're going to have nicks, you're going to have bruises, you're going to have injuries. We got to be tough minded. We got to fight through it. And he, he did a good job of fighting through it. And now uh, we got to fight through it during the spring. And, and, you know, and, uh, and we got to try to grow and make sure we're better every day.